Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Thursday, November 19th, 2020. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. International Men's Day is annually celebrated on November 19th, and this year the theme is Family, Friendship, Health, making a positive difference to the well being of men and boys. Junior Minister of Gender Affairs in the Nevis Island Administration, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams, in an address to Mark the celebration spoke on the theme. Men of St. Kitts and Nevis continue to be providers, leaders, protectors, rescuers, and wise counselors. As our theme speaks to making a positive difference to the well being of men and boys, it is our hope that those men who are responsible and well grounded would lend of their time, energies, and interest to become mentors being that positive influencing force to bring about real change in the lives of their struggling brothers. These must include our youth who are evidently susceptible to societal ills. Young men, teen males and boys alike must be reached from a very early age and be molded into the model citizens they have great potential to be. The Gender Minister also praised men in the community and urged them to continue to take charge of their own health. Our men deserve recognition for the strides they have made in the area of health and wellness. In recent times, we have witnessed more men participating in health drives, taking routine checkups, and committing to regular exercise and healthful dietary practices. We, however, are far from the finishing line. This is actually just the beginning. It is with this in mind that the Department of Gender Affairs will host a Men's Health Champions Workshop geared towards equipping community leaders, such as pastors, mentors, leaders of community groups, sports clubs, and others to lead the charge of men's health in their own spheres of influence. Men, we honor you. We encourage you. We salute you. Happy International Men's Day 2020. Junior Minister in the Ministry of Gender Affairs, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams. The Health Promotion Unit in the Ministry of Health is hosting a number of activities for the observance of World AIDS Day, annually held on December 1st. Education and Prevention Officer in the Health Promotion Unit, Teresia Herbert, spoke on the first activity for World AIDS Day, which will be held on Friday, November 20th, 2020. So our first activity we'll be launching on November 20th is a social media campaign the, the motto will be Lime Responsibly. We are asking participants to upload, to be creative, to upload a video, a, a screenshot or, or a picture, or whatever you feel um, would best display our theme. And the theme is um, preventing the spread of HIV and COVID-19 in Queen City. And the winner of this competition will be announced on December 1st. Um, in order to participate, you need to follow us on both of our social media pages um, at Facebook, Nevis HPU, and on Instagram, it is hpu.nevis. The winner will um, be awarded a photo shoot with Refic. The other activities for the observance of World AIDS Day are the HIV ribbon unveiling ceremony and the Lyme Responsibly outreach event on Friday, November 27th, Human Ribbon Photo Op on Monday, November 30th, World AIDS Day Address by Junior Minister of Health, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams, and the RISE program, HIV and the Sexuality Workshop on December 1st, 2020. We invite you guys, I implore you guys to come out and partake in all the activities that we have planned. Um, there will be many giveaways and we plan to um, educate the public and have a good time doing so. Education and Prevention Officer in the Health Promotion Unit, Teresia Harbert. Still to come, COVID-19 Prevention and Control Bill 2020 passes in National Assembly. The details after this break. 
at a loss as to what's going on in Nevis? Tune into NNC on MTV. Don't worry if you don't have cable either. NNC will bring the news to you wherever you are. Facebook and Facebook Live. YouTube and YouTube Live. NevisTVOnline.com. Roku app, NTV mobile app, Smart TV, Apple TV, and any other IPTV platforms. Welcome back. After much deliberation, the COVID-19 Prevention and Control Bill 2020 was successfully passed in the National Assembly on Tuesday, November 17th. The bill is to provide for public health and other interventions to prevent control and suppress the transmission of COVID-19 and for related matters. Attorney General and Chairman of the Disaster Mitigation Council in St. Kitts and Nevis, the Honorable Vincent Byron, who led the debate on the bill, said it is critically important and is intended to ensure a more permanent solution to public safety. He said the government seeks to establish a vulnerable framework that would continue to fortify our defenses. The government will also continue to explore creative ways in which to stimulate the economy to assist the destitute and to regulate its affairs in such a way it continues to promote stability within the country. Minister Byron said the government is exercising common decency to protect the general public and the citizens and residents should do the same and adhere to health and safety protocols. The country has to remain vigilant. If we must restrict our movements, then we do so with the conviction that this is what must be done to protect our country, ourselves, and each other, he said. The Ministry of Agriculture, in partnership with the Ross University School of Veterinary Medicine, held a health care screening for livestock at the Madness Farm on a Saturday, November 14, 2020. Dean of the University is Dr. Sean Callanan. This initiative is a win-win for everybody. Um, and what, what I mean by that is uh, our farmers in the region and the, the government farm itself gains the benefit of the knowledge from our faculty and students in the area of reproduction and of herd health. But at the same time, our students get a major bonus by being here because they can actually work directly with the animals, learn new techniques, look at the technologies that are now available and work with the team here on the farm to develop their skills and it's a wonderful leg up for them as they go through their veterinary career. So again, I'm very grateful to be here for this initiative and thank you so much for having us. The benefits of the partnership between Ross University and the, the Ministry of Agriculture for the people of Nevis were explained by Minister of Agriculture, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers. If we are to continue on this upward trajectory of ensuring that our people are eating what we grow locally, then it therefore means we have to provide them with the resources in terms of uh, prolific breeds so as to ensure that we have a constant flow of meat to our abattoir and eventually to the market here on the island of Nevis. We believe we can certainly get to a point where uh, we are working towards ensuring that we eliminate or minimize to start with and then eventually eliminate the importation of meat products here on the island. We also know that with the uh, meat products that we are providing to the abattoir, they are able to do various forms of processing in terms of, for example, beef burgers, ground beef as well, which are in demand since we've had quite a number of persons who have uh, gone into various small businesses here on the island of Nevis with the uh, onset of COVID-19 and with the closure of various um, um, institutions like hotels and small restaurants or, or various businesses that are linked to the tourism industry. We've had persons who would have gone into small businesses of catering to the needs of the people here on the island of Nevis. So that is why we have seen an increase in the demand for meat products. Minister Jeffers also applauded the efforts of the employees at the Madness Stock Farm, as well as the Ministry and the Department of Agriculture. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.